The Golders Warehouse Kennel Building Day at the Academy of Maths and Science brought people of all creeds and cultures, young and old, together. To build, to decorate and finally to distribute near 200 kennels to homeless dogs in Kailicha. Animal lovers spent hours perfecting their projects. The event was organized by the founder and director of SA's Mass Animal Sterilization Trust, Tamsin Nell. Tamsin, what an incredible day, what an incredible turnout. You must be super excited. I'm over the moon. I'm actually a little bit in shock. I mean, we over 100 kennels already. So, yeah, um, no complaints on this side. <laughs> This is the fourth annual event and the day also raises awareness on the importance of reducing the number of unwanted puppies and kittens. I attended a very low-key, very informal kennel build event, I think way back in 2006 or 7. And I had a look at this and I, I just thought we could do this en masse. So 2009, the wood wasn't prepared. We had about 50 people arrive. Again, at another event in 2011 and we had about 300 people arrive. 2012, over 700. 2013, I believe that we're getting close to 1,000. Also involved were Polesmore prison inmates invited by Tamsin to help out with this worthy cause. It's a project that Area Commissioner Dagalani Mashaba believes will help rehabilitate them. These offenders, by, by doing this, they are also learning a skill and also to improve, to improve the lives of other people. The skill that they've learned today will also enable them to be self-sufficient when they are released. Two, what they are doing here is also a, a sign of showing remorse that we have wronged the community. So this is our small contribution. Meneer, hoe so voel het om deel te wees van hierdie ongelooflike gebeurtenis? Baie wonderlijk. Ek voel baie blij hoe die dinge wat ek sien nou hier so, as ek vier is om my dag wat ek uitgaan, al die goed op jylles, kan ek ook einde van die dag so wat ding maak. Such a monumental task required a team effort of groups of five working on each kennel for about four hours. It's fun and I like animals because they're cute. We love animals and uh, we just want to contribute to the community. Our kennel is looking amazing and yeah, we can't wait to finish it. It's our 40th wedding anniversary, so instead of having a big party, we invited all our family and friends to come and build for the dogs. After hours of concentration, the final kennels were drilled, nailed and assembled and then taken outside to be painted. This was undoubtedly the kids' favourite part. And they created colourful designs that the dogs were sure to love and appreciate. We're from Fairmont High School Intact Society and I'm Jessica. I'm Leia. And I'm Mia. And we've come today to the kennel building to help out a few dogs in Kailicha. The kids had some free time to paint themselves too, and once the kennels were all decorated and the paint had dried, final checks were made before hauling them off to their excited new dog owners. It is so heartwarming to see all these people taking time out of their schedules, coming down and supporting this amazing event, making sure that so many animals will have a beautiful kennel to call home. Judges were selected to choose the first, second and third place winners of the best built and most beautifully painted kennels. And then the delivery of kennels began. So, which dog got the kennels? Patients that have either been sterilized here at our clinic or it's patients that are still scheduled to be sterilized. Arriving in Kailicha, Jolgi K. Baba was one of the first lucky recipients of an awesome dog kennel. Uh, no, the small one, you cannot stay. In his house, at the peak, in his house, I'm happy, very happy. Builders were able to check out which dogs received their kennels, and one thing's for sure, these dogs will be sleeping in style tonight. Catlejo's got nothing on Bob. Bobtail, SA's most loved dog food for strong South African dogs.